In this screencast, we'll take a look at Portable Ubuntu. Now, you can use Portable Ubuntu to have access to your uh, Linux uh, applications and an Ubuntu operating system within your Windows environment. So if you don't have access to a, an Ubuntu machine and uh, all the programs you use uh, run in Ubuntu, uh, you can use this to use those programs when you don't have access to an Ubuntu machine. And to get this program, you just uh, open up uh, a browser and uh, go to Google. And just search for Portable Ubuntu. And it should be the first one that uh, comes out of the search. And just click that. Bear with me, I'm on Windows here. Uh, it's pretty slow. Okay, so once you get to this uh, website, uh, you just click the Downloads tab. And uh, the first link you see here is the one you should download. So you just click that one and download it. Once you do that, you will end up with this compressed file. And all you have to do is uh, extract it, and you will end up with this folder. Now, all you have to do is double click the folder. And uh, inside of it, there's a bunch of uh, folders. And you want to double click the one that says P Ubuntu. So you just double click it. And uh, you should wait about a minute or two for it to load. And after it's loading, uh, you should be able to see a GNOME panel that uh, will pop up on uh, the top of your Windows machine. Okay, so once it's loaded, uh, as I said, uh, you'll see this panel up uh, uh, on the top of the screen. And uh, it's pretty much the same thing you get in Ubuntu. And uh, you can do pretty much everything you can do on Ubuntu, except uh, some, some programs will not work the way they should. It's, uh, it's a little bit flaky when it comes to certain programs. But it mostly works, and uh, so if you go to applications, you can uh, run your applications here. Uh, let's see, if I go to games, uh, pick a game here. And as you can see, it, it, uh, it pops out here, and uh, it works. You can uh, go to all the menus and choose uh, everything exactly if you were on Ubuntu. Now, if you're doing, uh, if you're going to use the sudo command, or uh, you want to install new software, it might prompt you for the password. And the default password is one two three four five six. So just keep that in mind in case uh, you want to do certain things that require a password. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it for now, and uh, thanks for watching.